like my whole life, he was a twin reverb, and then I started pairing it with like a, um, one of those 212 silver tones. I, all I do is like keep it clean, have one tube screamer on the whole time to give it some drive, and then put another tube screamer on to do a solo or something. It's like, this, this is just what I had done since I started playing guitar, and I never really changed it. Um, the reason I used two tube screamers was pretty much Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, I didn't ever really want to play a Strat, uh, but my dad was always like, hey, you should get a Strat. And I was like, nah, I don't want one. Um, but inevitably, we all become our parents. I don't know if you're aware of this. <laughs> and one day I was like, I kind of want a Strat. And I got it, and I was like 16, I guess. I get, became my dad at a very young age. Uh, <laughs> so I got it and was like, whoa, it, it responded better than any guitar I'd played. For like, for, it's all like personal. So, but for me, it was just like, it's kind of, it's not the easiest guitar to play, but that's why it's, if I play like a Les Paul or something, I overbend strings so easily because it's just so pure and easy. And that should be a compliment, but for me, it's just like, and it's not my, it's not my style. Um, yeah. But the two tube streamer thing was totally Stevie Ray Vaughan. And he had, you know, it's just such a simple setup and it's effective. And uh, yeah, people say they're like, I like your tone, dude. It's like, thanks, man. It's like the easiest thing ever. And then it was like, well, if the setup's that simple, I can try just using a Kemper because we switched to in-ears. And I was like, I just need the guitar sound to be in my ears and I can just use a clean setting and then put a tube screamer on and not have to carry amps around on tour. <laughs> so basically that's like where the idea of using a Kemper came in. This is like a stock setting on here. I just like went through it and found it and uh, started playing the clean. There's like a gain knob here that is controlled by the foot pedal now but it just gives it like some gain. So now I don't have, I can just, instead of just clicking on a Tube Screamer, I can use like. You push this guy down and it brings up this gain to give it a little bit of crunch. Now I don't have to have a Tube Screamer on constantly. But I still have the tube streamer on here for when you want to like, you know, get like super like piercing and angular, I guess. So like basically it's just like Axe is a really good clean amp. And then it responds really well to pedals too, which is a great thing. I was really surprised. I was like wondering how that was going to work out. But the, uh, I've been using this Bit Commander from Earthquaker device and I freaking love it. And it goes really well with this guy. Oh, and then uh, Michael Britt, he like uh, profile amps, and I've been uploading some, and there's like one that's a, uh, I don't know, 69 Marshall stack. That's been super fun to work with. And it's like, it's, sound, I, it's something that I would never use or achieve. And it's like, but it's there, and then you, I just feel like experiment with it. Freaking crazy, you know, and I don't have to lug around a Marshall stack. And they also have like stomps on here too, which is pretty cool. I don't know, but there's like flange and phase. You can put all those in like your stomp, stomp box pads, uh, re, like reverbs, delays. And the thing that the Kemper does is keep consistency. So every night it's the same, it's the same thing. I do miss the air from the amps though, you know, like something I like about the Kemper a lot is like the pick sound, like the, like the direct mix, I guess. That always is, I don't know, it's like super appealing to me. But the thing I miss is like the stage volume. And then you get like, you know, self-conscious because everybody, there's like people in the front and you're like, do they even hear this thing? Mm -hmm. 